Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we're up here at 4,317. I expected this to pull back at the 4,300, but it continues to rally. Now we are getting... Um, to the edge uh, basically uh, or be basically at the top of the bullish band we're also at the at the edge of being overbought however technical indicators otherwise are still very bullish if we were to tumble from here most likely found support down here at 4250 down here at the 50 moving average down at around 4200 and if this all were to give away it will probably drop all the way down to 4000 but as long as there is enough liquidity in the market and there is technically nothing that really scares this market at this point even though inflation is uh, something that is always around and the pandemic is still also around that is kind of baked into the market at this point it doesn't really look like whatever news um, the market um, receives or whatever bad news the market receives this is probably the worst thing that could happen or this uh, hitting the 50 moving average and then continuing hitting a little bit below and then continuing. And we have seen that time over time and time again. So pullbacks towards the middle and the 50, they have offered massive support uh, in the last few months. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones uh, continues is at the 30 uh, 34,600 give or take at this current stage and technical indicators are looking very bullish indeed if we were to pull back from here we can see that we have found massive support around the 2050 and the middle of the bullish band down here at the 34,300 give or take and at the moment it looks like we're going back towards 35,000 and probably beyond that to, to 35,500 um, in the next day uh, coming um coming probably coming days in, in um if this continues so pullbacks i have been bought into at around 35000 35500 as probably where we'll see pullbacks there's still a lot of room to the upside here in the rsi and we're not even close to the top of the bullish band so let's look at the nasdaq so nasdaq um has been the most bullish of these um, of the U.S. indices um, recently, and uh, pullback at this point uh, was expected. We were significantly overbought, also were stretched here, and if we were to tumble, we'll most likely drop towards the middle here, down here at the uh, fourteen thousand two hundred, give or take. If that were to give, then thirteen thousand, uh, fourteen thousand, sorry, uh, probably will be the bottom of this market. Uh, there has to be some uh, cataclysmic news in order to, for this to basically drop all the way down to the 200 moving average. We haven't been in, even close to the 200 moving average, well, since uh, last April last year. So, so uh, yes, at the mo at the moment, people are buying the dips, and the dips um, are finding massive support down here at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are still very bullish. But they are turning around at this point. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX has been very volatile. It's a market that doesn't really know where to go at the at this point. So the euro is um, is um, depreciating against, uh, for example, the US dollar. It's becoming weaker than currency pair. That should be. Um, positive for uh, for especially the german economy and also the for the german dax as uh, exports will become cheaper and they and that should benefit their economy uh, but it doesn't look like the market knows where to go whether or not it wants to go to sixteen thousand or towards the fifteen thousand down here um it's fairly more likely that we'll go towards sixteen thousand as um as the governments are still just um holding the economies uh, afloat uh, forever uh, forever whatever cost so this will most likely continue rallying but 
it has been very volatile and uh, very um, unpredictable where this market goes. It has not behaved this way for a very long time. Uh, not these massive moves of, of uh, two to one percent to the downside in in a single day. So it is uh, a matter of just waiting whether or not to be rallied towards down 16,000 or we basically break down towards 15,000. There will probably be a lot of interest of buying down here. If this breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the 200 million guys, but still that should be some cataclysmic event that happens in order for this market to drop to those levels. Technical indicators are fairly mixed at this point. MACD is negative, stochastic is flat, CCI is um, a little bit negative, and RSI is flat. So UK, FTSE. Very similar here. It is does we're still in an uptrend for both of the both of the DAX and the in the FTSE, but still the movements in these markets have been fairly fairly strange. Um today this rallies uh over one percent, while the other European indices uh, technically um, just stay in place. And if this were to take out the previous highs here, then we'll most likely go to seven thousand two hundred. Breakdown from here, seven thousand is uh, has been acting as a massive floor for this market. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. The MACD, MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is flat. CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at China 50. So China 50 is, um, well, it tends to rally at the end of each month and break down um, at the beginning of each month. So, so that's how it has been behaving uh, the last, at least the last four months. And it, it just continues in that fashion. So we did break down towards uh, 7,000, uh, 7,000 give or take. And then we bounced and we're still underneath the 200 moving average. The technical indicators are very bearish for this. And um, it, it, uh, if we were to break below these candlesticks here, then we could drop towards 16,000. If we break above the 50, then we'll probably go back towards the top of the bullish band, which is also nearly the previous highs here of roughly 18,100. Uh, so it is probably just a waiting game here it's uh, fairly unpredictable where this will go in the next uh, coming days so hope you found it helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much